Thank you guys all for coming today. You know, first of all, I want to thank the folks at Georgetown from the School of Psychology and the Institute for Technology, Law and Policy for welcoming us to this great facility and for all of you guys for coming. And three folks in particular, Sandy Calvert, Rachel Barr, and Alex Gibbons, thank you for hosting us. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, this is gonna be a really fun day. I'm Jim Steyer, by the way. I uh, am the CEO at Common Sense. Um, and we are incredibly excited to have this discussion. About a year ago, we had our first ever Truth About Tech conference. And the gentleman you're about to hear from was the keynote speaker, or one of the keynote speakers at that as well. And just watching the video just now, and that was all stuff that's happened in the last 12 months. So we have made huge progress, if you think about it, in the last month about bringing these issues to the fo forefront of the way people are thinking. And when we first started this series of Truth About Tech conferences and focusing on digital well-being, um, it was because we heard literally from millions of parents and educators that they were really concerned about the impact that media and tech were having on their kids. And that momentum and that movement is just growing and growing and growing because it's clear that the devices and platforms that we're gonna talk about today are changing aspects of everyone's lives, how we communicate, how we learn, our family lives, our jobs, our democracy. And make no mistake about it, kids are being profoundly affected by all of this. I think it is not an overstatement to say that their futures are at stake about how we deal with some of these platforms and some of these devices and some of the content on them. And if, the, if our kids' future is at stake, then that means everybody in this room's future is at stake and our society's future is at stake. So this is a very serious conversation and we have a remarkable group of people here. One year into this effort, it's amazing to see how the momentum has changed and how this, this, the frame of these issues in the country have changed. It's clearly a very, very different world than it was a year ago. And the tide has turned toward being to much greater concern about how do we rein in some of the excesses, how do we take advantage of some of the great stuff that technology provides us daily. And I would tell you we are at a watershed moment and a lot of great stuff is going to be is happening. In the past year, we passed the landmark California privacy law, other rules that made the internet and social media safer. Um, we worked with uh, our next guest uh, to launch some pretty amazing uh, legislative efforts here in Washington. And we are at this very important inflection point that we want all of you to help us think through today as we sort of plan for the future. Um, but I would just say this, we had a very good first year and the work is just beginning. We still need to be looking at the algorithms, the platform designs, how companies are intentionally influencing us and I would say manipulating us, especially our kids. And we need to highlight the extraordinary quality tech experiences, the kind of content that our kids should be exposed to that steers clear of violence or hate or bullying or the live streaming of mass murder that we just saw in New Zealand. Um, this is not something that I want my four kids exposed to, that any of you who are parents or grandparents want your kids exposed to, or quite honestly, necessarily you yourself exposed to. So we are at a very critical moment. And today we're gonna to talk about some of the issues, but also some of the solutions that can and should be incentives for the folks in Silicon Valley and the rest of the tech industry to adopt. And we would argue that rather than killing innovation as a few of our our colleagues in the tech industry sometimes warn they'll actually stimulate innovation that will be with privacy and, and digital well-being at the forefront. So we believe this is a watershed moment and we believe that if we follow the kinds of values that our kids would want us to follow and if we will emphasize the kind of platforms and solutions that our kids deserve, that all of us will win big in the long run. And we're gonna spend the day talking about that with you, so thank you so much for coming. And to lead it off, I wanna introduce a true friend of mine. He is uh, the very distinguished senator from the, state, the great state of Massachusetts, the Honorable Ed Markey, and I just wanna say this. I'm only 30, but in my 30 years of life, I've worked with Ed Markey the entire time. <laughs> So this is true, because I first met him when we were working on the Children's Television Act of 1990, 
which he authored. And as you all know, because folks here know the field of media and technology, he is the single most important U.S. senator over the last 30 years who's focused on these issues, who has led the fight on all the major pieces of legislation that have improved our kids' and families' lives. So it is my pleasure and honor to introduce my good friend, Ed Markey, who has some announcements to tell you. 